This is SAT test 4, non-calculator question number 9. College Board gives us an equation with a square root in it and says if A is 2, what is the solution set of the equation above? The best way to solve this is to substitute in your answer choices to see which ones work. But I'm going to do the algebra first to see why we don't want to do the algebra. Square root of x minus A is square root of x minus 2 equals x minus 4. To do the algebra, I'm going to square both sides. That gives me x minus 2 equals x minus 4, x minus 4. I'm going to write that out for FOIL because there's too many mistakes with FOIL when we're under pressure from other things. x squared minus 4x minus another 4x plus 16. That was first times first, product of the outsides product of the insides, and then product of the last numbers. Subtract x from both sides, add 2 to both sides, and I get 0 equals x squared minus 4x minus 4x minus x is minus 9x, and then plus 18. Factoring, I get x and x, minus and minus, the last number is positive, so there's the same sign middle term is negative, so they're both negative. I need two numbers whose product is 18 and their sum is 9. That would be 3 and 6. If a product is 0, either the first factor is 0, add 3 to both sides, so x equals 3, or the second factor is 0, add 6 to both sides, x equals 6. Algebraically, I came up with a potential solution set of 3 and 6, which makes me consider this answer choice. But wait, does it actually work? Let's substitute it in. I have square root of x minus 2. Let's try x equals 3. Equals 3 minus 4. substituting in 3 here. So that would be square root of 1 equals negative 1. That's not true. So 3 did not work. Choice A is wrong. Choice C is wrong. Choice B is wrong because 2 did not come out as an algebraic solution. So it can't work. But what about choice D? Does 6 work? Square root of 6 minus a is square root of 6 minus 2, because a is 2, equals 6 minus 4. That's root 4 on the left, 2 on the right, and square root of 4 is positive 2. 6 is the only number that works. By finding the algebraic solution, I found two potential solutions, but if you recall, there's an issue with extraneous solutions. In rational equations and radical equations, you can get solutions algebraically that end up not working, either because we're dividing by zero, or in this case because we flipped a sign when we squared both sides here. So if you solve it algebraically, you still have to substitute in all your solutions. In a multiple choice, just start by substituting them in. That's the shortcut. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.